Each week, we pause to remember those who are living through times of transition. Today, I light three candles. One candle for sorrow for those dealing with worries, illness, and loss. A second candle for those celebrating joys. And a third candle for the interconnectedness of this world, for hope that peace will reign instead of hatred and violence. May all these flames burn with hope. We begin with spoken word followed by silence. When the silence is broken by music, I invite you to write into the chat any joys or sorrows you may have upon your heart today. Will you please join me in the spirit of prayer or meditation? Take a deep breath. Let your body settle for a moment. Close your eyes if you wish. Spirit of life, stone of hope. This day we are people who come seeking renewal, who come in search of answers to questions that are always left unanswerable. We try to understand the selfishness of others and within ourselves, the balance between acceptance and the rule breaking that can lead to devastation or liberation. We watch with horror the mob out of control, the festering anger and hatred, the lies that lead to destruction, the terrifying contrast to peaceful protest, the unfairness of who is arrested and who goes free. We cry for lives lost and hearts broken. We wait patiently out of respect we observe curfews because we have no other choice. When a few ignore the safety of others, we're forced to pay with more isolation, knowing that there are still many who will have no shelter when the lights are turned out and the doors are closed. We feel the impatience that the pandemic continues to rage around the world, while access to vaccinations and well being are still distant. We feel the impatience that justice is so slow in coming. When all else fails, may we hold on to gratitude, never forgetting to thank those who make the sacrifices, those who rise in opposition to hatred, those who work on the front lines as essential workers, and those who risk their lives for all of us. May we give thanks for each person here and for every person whose life connects to each of ours, for every act of kindness, for every gesture of peace, the perfect crystals that become the snow, the white blanket of quiet out of which we rise to face our unknown future together. Amen. May we carry these words into a time of silence.